Hey guys, it's May May, and today we're gonna make these tags. We're gonna use one sheet of eight and a half by 11 paper and make some super simple but very important tags. And let me tell you why they're so important. We are starting this month a program, or at least an event, called Tags Giving. And what we're gonna do with Tags Giving is we're gonna encourage you to create a tag, simple or detailed or big or small, whatever you would like to make, and attach it to a token gift. Any gift you can imagine, whatever you think is appropriate, and then give it to someone in your community that has done something for you or means something to you or is even a total stranger. The idea is we want to start our Thanksgiving at home and in our community. And we want to encourage you guys to do that too. Now, I have written a blog post about this. It's got all the details for you, including the three prizes that I'm going to be giving away and how you can enter. And never fear, even if you're not on Facebook, if you're not on Instagram, if you're not on Twitter, you still can enter because I've created a special email address just for this program. So all you have to do is email your entry to me to be part of it. So we'll talk more about it at the end, but now let's make these tags. So these guys come from one sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So here's some cardstock. It's in kind of a craft color, not exactly craft, but close. And look how simple this is. Okay, we're gonna take our paper trimmer and we are gonna slice four slices, two and three quarters inches each time. So two and three quarters inch, and we're cutting on the 11 inch. We're cutting on the long side of the paper, okay? So there's one at two and three quarters. Now I'm gonna do this one. This is not new for me. This is one of my favorite ways to push out a lot of tags in a short period of time. So each of these is cut at two and three quarters of an inch, and you'll see that now they all are the same, okay? Now we're gonna cut them in half at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna open the arm of my trimmer out here and we're gonna cut them in half at four and a quarter. Now you can cut the page in half at four and a quarter first if you'd rather, just do it whichever way you like. This way just works for me. So there's that one. Now we'll cut this one at four and a quarter. We're gonna end up getting eight tags out of this page. Now for the contest, the tag size does not matter. And I hate to call it a contest, although there's prizes, it's really more of a sharing event. So the size doesn't matter. You make your tag big, small, whatever you like to do. I just thought I'd show you how to make some tags quickly if you want to make several. So we have eight pieces all the same size. Now I personally love this punch to make my tags with. It makes life so much easier. This is the We Are Memory Keepers corner, um, corner? No, angle punch. <laughs> so the We Are Memory Keepers angle punch. And we carry this in my store, so I'll be sure to link it below for you. But watch how fast I get a tag shape. Do you see that? And I can do more than one at a time. Like, let's do three. So I can take three and put them in and punch them so easily with this guy. So he's one of my favorites. This is four. Let's do four at one time. So put them in and punch. And now I have eight tag-shaped cards ready to go. Now I need to place a hole in the tags, and you can do this with a single hole punch and go through them, you know, all at one time. Or what I like to do is use this um, crocodile and do them all at one time. I'm just gonna put that there and punch through my eight tags. So now they are ready to go as well. Now I'm gonna use two stamp sets today. This one that's called Just To Say Thanks, and then this one that is fall stitched up. I think these will be fun for what I'm doing, and you can see I've already got some pulled off that we're gonna use, but I'm gonna start with this guy. This stamp set is designed in such a way that you have thank you, thankful, and thanks, and then all of these words to go with it in any way you want. So I'm gonna start with using thanks. So I'm gonna put that on a block. You can see it is well loved because it is really, really dirty. And so I'm gonna bring my tag over and just using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink, I'm gonna ink that up. And for this one, I'm gonna take the thanks and put it on an angle kind of at the bottom. And so I'm going back to this stamp set and thanks is the first word I used. I'm gonna take the one that says you are a, and I'm gonna take the one that says awesome. And I know that doesn't go to together, but I'm gonna make it go together. So check this out. So I've loaded URA on a stamp block, okay? And I'm gonna do what's called selective inking. I'm only gonna ink UR, and I'm not gonna ink the word, the letter A, all right? So I'm gonna go, thanks, UR, right here. Now you could use a piece of scotch tape and cover that up if you wanted to while you were inking it, but for me, selective inking works pretty easy on some stamps. Sometimes it's a little more difficult. 
And from that same stamp set, the word awesome. So thanks, you are, and then awesome. I just think that's super cute and it works for anything that I want to say thanks for. Now I'm going to go to that second stamp set and just because it's the fall season, I'm going into fall stitched up and I'm using these stitched leaves and stitched pumpkins and stitch shapes. I just think they're cute and so I'm just making them kind of a focal point here because I'm making a bunch at one time so I'm trying to keep them simple but still make them cute. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to take my pen, my black pen, and do some stitch lines all the way around this tag. So there is how the tag looks with the stitch lines and I'm not putting anything on the back of this tag just yet because I'm not sure who I might give this to. At the time when it's time to give it, I might want to stamp to and from from a stamp set or I may just want to write a note on the back. But for now, I've got a tag ready to use. I'm going to do the same kind of thing to the other seven tags. So now you can see using those two stamp sets, I have this one that says thankful for your service. This one says thankful for your service. Thanks, you are awesome. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thanks for being my friend. You are a beloved friend in all seasons and thanks for all you do. So now I have eight tags that I can add to token gifts. Now, what do I mean by token gifts? Let me show you. Now, I know not everyone can afford a Cricut cartridge to give to someone, but let's say you have a friend that is a crafty friend like you and you want to give them something like this for their craft room. Attach the tag to the gift and give this to your friend and that's all we're asking. And it might not be, th it might not be this big of a gift. You might make tags and put them on to suckers. This tag's too big, obviously. Or you might put suckers on a tag and give these out to people all month long as you see people. What we're asking is that you share with us the photo photograph of your tag that you make. I know that the gift can be personal, so we're not asking that you show the gift. You're more than welcome to if you'd like, but sometimes the gift can be personal. But let's say you wanted to give something to your mail carrier or to your doctor's office receptionist or to the man who, um, I don't know, cleans up around your building at your office or what have you. Just to say thank you for what you do, I just want to encourage you guys to find a way in your communities to say thank you because I believe this kind of thing should start at home, right? So I encourage you to get started on tags giving. And again, you can make your tags any way you want. You can attach them to any gift you want. The purpose of this event is to share love and let people know how much they are appreciated. I hope you will enjoy this event. I hope you will get involved in it. There is a way for everyone. You do not have to be on social media, although you can. You do not have to have Facebook, although you can join us on Facebook. It's super easy all over the place. Just check out the link below to the blog post where I've explained everything in detail and get involved with us. I think it's going to be super fun. I got to get eight gifts to put on here to hand out to eight people. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really look forward to what all you're going to do and how we're going to be sharing love left and right all over our communities and so that people can really know how much they are appreciated this November. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you again on Wednesday. And we have another charity event coming up Wednesday I'm super excited about. I think you're going to love it, and it's for you card makers. So just to give you a little sneak peek. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.